Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We begin this Sunday reflection in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank God as today is the fifth Sunday of Easter year B and also a special day to all fathers, our breadwinners. God bless you. May you eat the fruits of your labor in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today is Father's Day. And we celebrate all the fathers. You are highly blessed. Amen. Our reading today is from the Gospel of John chapter 15 from verse 1 to 8. And the topic of this reflection is titled, Remain in the Father and be fruitful. In other words, it is, Abide in the Father and be fruitful. Our Lord uses this example of a plant and a farmer in the garden to tell us about the relationship between his followers and himself. Christ is the gardener or the farmer. The Christians are the plants and trees in the garden. If we are to be good and fruitful plants, we must be in a place where we can be taken care of. A fish needs to be inside water so that it can stay alive. And live well. So our Lord commands us to remain in Him, to abide in Him, to stay with Him in the good environment that He has provided for us in the church and our gospel societies. It is not enough to remain and abide in Him. We must grow and be fruitful. Hear me again. A child of God must be must grow and be fruitful. So the Lord is telling us to remain in Him. He is the source of life. Christ is the source of our life. So we must remain in Him for us to grow and be fruitful. There is no farmer who will be happy with the plants in his garden that are just occupying space without producing fruits. As long as the plant is in the garden, it is the duty of the farmer to take care of it by supplying water, fertilizer, and removing the weeds around it. Once the farmer does his job, it is expected that the plants will produce fruit as long as it is in the garden. We remain and abide in God, our Father, by maintaining a good relationship with Him. Hear me again. You must remain and abide in our God, by maintaining a good relationship with him. It is by studying his words, by praying, by attending fellowship and church meetings, and above all, by obeying his words. When we do all these things, we become fruitful. We become fruitful as we allow God to take care of us through the teachings of his words. We become better Christians and the world around us will know that indeed we are abiding in Christ. And we are going to testify that we are followers of Christ. When we abide in Christ, we must be fruitful. I ask you today, are you abiding in Christ? Do you remain in him at all times, whether good or bad? The plants remain in the garden both through the rainy season and dry season. Are you fruitful? Is your life producing fruits of repentance and goodness? Can you say God is happy to keep you in his garden? I pray that you will receive the grace that is needed to remain in Christ at all times and produce fruits that will gladden the heart of God and his people through Christ our Lord. Amen. I pray for you that have listened to this message. Remain in God and be fruitful. Remain in God and be fruitful. Abide in Him and you will be fruitful. May the Lord help us and give us understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Once again, from over to you, Lord, we make a league prayer group. 
we celebrate all the fathers as the Catholic Church celebrates Father's Day today. May the Lord bless you and may his face shine upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Happy Father's Day to all our fathers. Please, mothers, endeavor to make all the fathers happy. Children, make your fathers happy. Wives, make your husbands happy. Today is a special day for them. And they will live long, and they will live long, and they will live long to the glory of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Happy Father's Day. We love you. God bless you.